Hi, I'm Leo Leung, a Senior Director of Product Management at Oracle Cloud, and today I'm going to talk about a few factors to consider when you're choosing a cloud provider. There's a lot of things to think about, uh, but if you think about the maturity of cloud providers today, a lot of things are relatively even across the providers. Things like compliance, things like uh, how much investment they've made into their clouds. So I picked out three other categories that you may want to think about. The kind of workload, the overall cost of running in the cloud, and the way you're going to co actually consume the cloud. So the reason why I picked these is the cloud has been around now for about 15 or more years when you think about infrastructure providers or SaaS providers. And while some of these things, like I said, have become more consistent, uh, some of these original core things are, have changed because technology has advanced. So when you think about workloads, a lot of the cloud providers were built for web-based types of applications. Another term is uh, scale-out applications, where the way you the way you handle more demand is just by adding more infrastructure and the software scales out. That's perfectly fine, certainly for applications that are brand new. It's not necessarily the best design for applications uh, from the past or things that customers already have. Most enterprise applications are actually built with what's called a scale-up uh, architecture where there's a reliance on a big database on the back end, and really you're adding more capability to an existing infrastructure versus just adding more servers or adding more storage. Not all clouds are actually built or designed very well for these types of applications. So if you have a lot of those that you're either moving to the cloud or you're actually gonna continue to build in that way, take a hard look at the provider and whether they're good at that or not. Third category, and again, this is a different type of architecture that's optimal, is for high performance computing. So this is, this is a type of workload that uh, is actually expanding. So if you think about machine learning, it actually falls into this category, where usually you have a large cluster of computers and you have very, very large uh, storage in order to handle uh, all the processing and all the output out of that processing. And very few clouds are actually good for this type of workload, which is why people are continuing to leave these on-prem. TCO, uh, if you notice, there hasn't been a lot of price change in the cloud over the last five years. And there are certain areas where there's still a huge disparity that's possible when it comes to cost. Two of those areas are storage and networking, particularly outbound bandwidth. Okay, so these two components, when you're looking at storage, costs can vary dramatically between providers if you actually require a lot of performance, uh, particularly when it comes to data management or database storage. Costs can be 10, 100x on some providers. Same thing goes with outbound network bandwidth. So if you think about serving your end users, serving other businesses, and pushing data out of your cloud or between regions, these costs can be extremely high. So take a look at that before you choose your provider. Final category uh, is a little different. Where there's more of a consolidation, let's say, or clouds are starting to become more capable. Where traditionally there's sort of a line dividing these things where some providers were only uh, going to offer you a single application as a service or multiple applications as a service. Other providers are focused more on either providing you a developer environment or an environment to host existing applications. Actually, if your portfolio of applications spans this, take a hard look and see which providers can actually offer you both, where you can satisfy an immediate business need, for example, for HR management software, and just start to provision end users by seat. Uh, or if you need to develop applications, new applications or extend existing applications, and you need to bring some of your existing applications into the cloud and host it, very few providers can actually do all of these. Okay, so to wrap it up, 
Take a look, of course, qualify based on your needs, but here's three categories to look at that really differentiate the clouds that are out there. The kinds of workloads that they serve best, the actual total cost of ownership of the cloud, and the kind of models they can support. Thanks a lot for your time.